Hey guys, it's Ashley and today I am filming a makeup video for you guys. So this may or may not be a Valentine's Day get ready with me. It's kind of just a fun makeup tutorial with like a little pop of pink in it which I thought was very fun and festive. So if you guys are interested in getting this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, you guys already know I'm using the same old products that I always do. So I'm using the Smashbox primer on my eyelids. And then I'm going in with Tempra from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just putting that all over my eyelids to set the primer. And then I'm going in with Raw Sienna and I am just placing that in my crease and really blending that out. I'm really just going to be building this color up and adding more so that I can really get that pop of color. You guys know I don't really experiment much with my makeup so this isn't really anything new to you guys. I'm now taking the color Love Letter and I'm putting that right under that crease color that we used. This is about as crazy as it's going to get for this makeup tutorial because I, like I said I don't really change up my makeup that much and I don't like to experiment but for Valentine's Day I thought this nice pop of pink would be cute. It's kind of like a pinkish red um, and it's looking really choppy right now but we're going to blend that out. And then I'm just going back in with raw sienna and just blending out those edges and making sure that we don't lose that crease color. I decided to go back in with Love Letter and put it on the outer half of my eyelid as well as the crease just to really add some more color and keep that pink color in there. I'm now going in to my Tartlet and Bloom palette and I'm using the color Leader. It's like this dark burgundy color and I'm using that in the outer V just to kind of deepen up the look just a little bit. For the 100th time, I'm going back in with that love letter and I'm putting that in the crease just to make sure that we are not losing the pink color and to really make it pop. So I don't normally do this, but I'm taking a flat, dense brush and I'm taking concealer and I'm putting that on the inner half of my eyelid where I want to put the shimmery color. So I'm just kind of carving out my eyelid and really the area that is going to be getting that color. Going back into Modern Renaissance, I'm taking the shimmery color called Vermeer, which is like a pink champagne color. And I'm putting that to where I place that concealer. The concealer is really just going to make the color pop. Um, and I always use my finger because I think it gets more pigment that way. So I'm just placing that all over the eyelid and don't worry, we're going to blend it out so it doesn't look as crazy. I also don't normally do this, but I'm going to take that same brush and the same concealer and I'm just going to clean up the edges. I don't really use tape that much just because I don't ever feel like it. So this is a really nice way to clean up your edges by just using a concealer and a dense brush. I was ready to slow down before you came round. I was heading for a small disaster. I've used the same brow product for 
literally ever so it's no surprise to you guys that I'm using the Anastasia brow powder duo in the color medium brown and I'm just filling in my eyebrows my eyebrows have just had a mind of their own lately so don't mind them they look crazy in this video and I know that I felt like I could gain the ocean And of course I'm using the same eyeliner that I've been using forever. It's the Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. I haven't been wearing much eyeliner lately so I haven't felt the need to buy new eyeliner. And also talking about this wing, I know. I know what you guys are thinking. This wing is horrendous. And I think at the time that I was filming this, I thought it looked great. But watching it back, I am cringing with you. So do not follow my lead. Make your own beautiful wing and don't follow mine because I don't even know what this is and I apologize. <laughs> So my face makeup is pretty much the same as always. I'm using the Benefit Professional Primer. Love this primer. Just blending that all over. I think this is the only product that I haven't shown in a video before, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So many people rave about this and when I first got it I didn't love it at all. It just did not work for my skin but I decided to try it out in this video and I loved it. And I think it just depends on the day because sometimes it looks awful. So I feel like if you have pretty dry skin maybe steer clear from this because in the places that I get dry it looked really patchy sometimes but this day it looked great and it's only $5 so I mean not bad. My heart would never be much faster Before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round I was heading for a small disaster I'm using the same old concealers as always. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm literally scraping anything I can get out of that concealer. And because there's not much in that Shape Tape Concealer, I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just add some more wherever I feel like it. And then I use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend that out. <laughs> Again, no surprise with this product, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighting Drops. It's in the color Champagne. Love this stuff. I really like liquid highlighter right now. I think it looks so much more natural and just makes your skin look like a really healthy glow. I'm not someone who really likes to buy powders, so I'm using the Olme Smart Shade powder as always, just putting that all over so I don't get oily. And then I am using the same old bronzer, the Hoola bronzer, and I'm putting that on my cheekbones, on my temples, you know, I look like a ghost, so we've got to add some warmth and color to our face. Yet again, another reoccurring product, my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Risqué. 
Wow, didn't think we'd be dipping back into the love letter now, did ya? Well, you thought wrong because we're going back in with a small elf brush, um, a small little dense brush, and we're dipping into that love letter and putting that right underneath the lash line. And then we're going back in with raw sienna as well and putting that under the love letter. And then we are taking that same shimmery shade and just putting that in the inner corner of our eyes. And then I'm using the Better Than Sex Mascara. And finally, I took this Revlon Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's just a light pink color. I don't know the exact shade. So sorry. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too crazy, but thanks for watching. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Got some ideas for some makeup to do for Valentine's Day. If you guys liked this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And make sure you're subscribed. Turn on post notifications if you want to see when I upload a video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.